Just lift your voice and love the Lord. He alone is worthy. Father, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. You are the great, the great I am. We give you praise forevermore. You are the great, the great I am. We give you praise forevermore. You are the great, you are the great, the great I am. We give you praise, we give you praise forevermore.
glory, <laughs> wisdom, thanksgiving.
just want to lift your voice and love the Lord. You came for an encounter this morning. Let heaven hear your voice. Raise your voice. blind I see. Hey. Who is the God who gives me victory? Ah, for an Omega, we worship your name. Uh, we worship your name. Let your voice and say, we worship your name, Lord. Worship your name. Ah, for an omega, we worship, we worship your name. We worship, we worship your name. Father, I lift my voice. We worship your name, Lord. Hey, we worship your name. Ah, for an omega, we worship your name. Father, I worship, we worship, we worship your name. Wobble my tessa jee Wobble my tessa jee I need a beefy Ali a ke Yabada bari babash Oh hey wale Oh hey wale na Wobble my tess, I gee, Wobble my tess, I gee, ye who I need
to give it up for Jesus, you want to lift your voice and you want to put your hands together and bless the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you want to add a loud shout unto the Lord. Give him all the praise and all the glory. He deserve it. Tell your neighbor you are at the right place. At the right time. With the right people. Therefore, your miracle will not elude you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. On behalf of our father and our mother. The Archbishop. And Reverend Mrs. Vivian Ajinasari, and Reverend Mrs. Vivian Ajinasari, we welcome you into our breakthrough service. We are live on Precious TV. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. And there Facebook and with, YouTube. So. With the name Archbishop Charles Ajinasari. Stay connected. Your life will not be the same. In Psalm 102, verse 17, it's from the New Century Version. The Bible says, He answers the prayer of the needy, He will not reject His prayers. I came this morning to assure somebody that your prayer is answered. I said God will answer your prayers. I don't know, I don't know what you are believing God for. But the word of God said he will answer your prayers. And I tell you, your prayer is answered in the name of Jesus. For that reason, our father has selected some of his anointed sons and daughter to take us into different types of prayers. The first person to take us is Pastor Emilia Yaro Kasambata followed by our pastor Sabatio Uredu then Pastor Shadakche will take it from him Lastly, Reverend Vincent Tonya will conclude with us. With a mad clap of him, let's welcome the woman of God. Put your hands together and welcome him. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you want to lift up your voice and appreciate the Father this morning. You want to lift up your voice like a trumpet. And appreciate the living God this morning. Oh, you want to appreciate him for making you an overcomer. For making you an overcomer. You want to bless his holy name. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Appreciate the Father. Appreciate him. For he has delivered you from the trap of the enemy. Lift up your voice. Appreciate him wherever you are. You want to be on your feet right now. And appreciate him. You want to be on your feet and say thank you, Jesus. You want to be on your feet and say thank you. Lord, thank you for everything. You want to be on your feet and say, Lord, I love you. Oh, 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 my Father. Oh, my Father. We said thank you. We said thank you for everything. We said thank you for the gift of life. You want to lift up your voice and thank God for your prayer. Thank you, Abba Father, we bless you in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10. The counsel together. Take counsel together. And it's shall come to naught. Speak together. Speak 
the word. And it shall not stand. For God is with us. For God is with you. In the name of Jesus. You want to lift up one hand and say after me in this morning. Say, I declare by the word of the Lord every witchcraft utterance and projections made against me shall not stand shall not stand shall not stand in Jesus name you want to lift up your hand again and say after me say oh Lord my God let every evil wishes of men against me fail 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 in Jesus name lift up your voice and declare right now lift up your voice and talk to God right now. Lift up your voice and declare that the agenda of the enemy against your children, against your life, I shall not stand. Wherever you are watching us from, I lift up your voice. Declare right now that the agenda of the enemy concerning your business, concerning your ministry, concerning your life, concerning your marriage, concerning in the name of Jesus, declare right now, declare right now, declare right now, declare right now, let up your voice, whatever you are, let up your voice, oh Lord, by the power of your word, let every agenda of the enemy against your children, my God, let it not come, my God, let it not succeed, my God, let it not hold water in the name of Jesus. You want to lift up your voice and talk to God right now. Whatever you are, baby, your position, lift up your voice and talk to God. Oh Lord, our God, we come before you in one accord and we will declare by your way that the light and the protection against our lives, against our help, let it not stop. Let it not let it not stand by the power of your Holy Ghost. Let it not stand. Let it not stand. Let it not stand by the power of your Holy Ghost. Let it not stand. Open your mouth and talk to God. Wherever you are, open your mouth and talk to God. Don't be silent. I declare that the agenda of the enemy concerning your health, concerning your marriage, shall for Lift up your voice and fire prayer right now. Lift up your voice and thunder prayer right now. Don't be silent. Wherever you are, declare, declare right now, right now. Ah, whoever is writing against your business, against your children, let them fail by fire. Let them fail right now, right now. My God, my God. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, right now, says lift up your voice, my Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, by the power of your word, let the enemy who have lifted your head against your children, let the part of your head in shame, let the part of your head in shame, lift up your voice, come to God, come to God, Lift up your voice. Wherever you are watching us from, lift up your voice and talk to God right now. Let the agenda of the enemy against your lifting, against your rising, that agenda will not fight. Lift up your voice right now. Right now. Oh Lord. 
your fire consume the wicked my yes for the enemy concerning your children you want to lift up your voice lift up your voice and talk to God lift up your voice and talk to God lift up your voice and talk to God lift up your voice Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Oh, I said, give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. And help me appreciate our Father and our Mother in the Lord. In Jesus' name. Oh, I said, in Jesus' name. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go. Unless a mighty hand compels him. Exodus chapter 3, the verse number 19, NIV. Shout, Holy Ghost. Shout, Holy Ghost. Arise. Sorry. And avenge my cause. Shout, Holy Ghost. Arise. Sorry. And avenge my cause. Spirit of the Lord. Arise. Sorry. And avenge my cause. Say in the name of Jesus. Any masquerading angel. Disallow my open heavens. Any powers of darkness. Resisting my breakthrough. Any marine spirit. Intercepting my progress. Say I compel them. Say I compel them. To terminate out of my way by the mighty hand of the Lord. Right now, right now, shout, O Lord, as I am praying now, by the word of the Lord, I implore the mighty hand of God to expire them, to expire them, to expire them, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Let up your voice and begin to pray. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand from him. That devil preventing you from inheriting your progress. Let up your voice and implore the mighty hand of the Lord to compel them and to expire them right now. Out of your life, lift up your voice. And pray, lift up your voice and pray. Any marine spirit intercepting your progress, any power of hell intercepting your progress, lift up your voice and implore the mighty hand of God and implore the mighty hand of God to compel them and to terminate them and to expire them right now, right now, right now. Come 
Lift up your voice. 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 That witchcraft, that evil spirit, that power of hell, preventing you, preventing you from progressing. Lift up your voice and implore the mighty hand of God to compel them out of your life, out of your business, out of your family. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Let me hear prayer in the house. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. So I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand comes to see. Lift up your voice and pray that any power of the enemy preventing you from progressing. Lift up your voice. And he brought the mighty hand of God to compel them out of your way right now. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. 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 Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels thee. Unless a mighty hand compels thee. Any power of darkness preventing you from moving forward. Lift up your voice. Compel the mighty hand of God to terminate them. To expire them. Right now. Right now. From your business, right now, from your family, right now, from your career, right now, from your ministry, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice, 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 and pray. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. 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 But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels him. Lift up your voice and implore the mighty hand of God to compel them right now, right now in your family to compel them right now, right now in your ministry. To compel them right now, right now in your life. Lift up your voice. 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 In Jesus' name. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. But it's of God that showed mercy. Romans chapter 9, verse 16, King James. Roman former, it's Lift up one hand. Say, oh God. Say, oh God. This morning. Show me mercy. Show me mercy in my life. Show me mercy in my family. Show me mercy in my ministry. Show me mercy in my business. Say, oh Lord, as I am praying now, let your mercy fall upon my life. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice. Ask God to show you mercy. Ask God to show you mercy over your life. The Bible says, so then, it is not of him that willeth, or of him that runneth, but it's of God that showeth mercy. Your business which keeps failing. The Bible says, so then, it is not of him that willeth, or of him that runneth, but it's of God that showeth mercy. As God to show you his mercy over your business. Lift up your voice and ask God to show you his mercy. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask God to show you his mercy. Lift up your voice in your life. Ask
Ask God. Ask God to show his mercy in your business. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask God to show you his mercy. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Mercy in your marriage. Mercy in your family. Mercy in your life. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask God to show you his mercy. Ask God to show you his mercy. So then, it is not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but it's of God that show it mercy. Ask God to show you his mercy. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Ask God to show you his mercy. Mercy in your life. Mercy in your ministry. Mercy in your family. Mercy over your business. Mercy in your life. Lift up your voice. 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 Ask God to show you his mercy. Ask God to show you his mercy. Ask God to show you his mercy. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Speak for your business. Let the message of the Lord speak for your children. Let the message of the Lord speak for your ministry. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice by the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody lift up your voice by the message of the Lord. May a divine assignment concerning your life come to pass. In the name of Jesus, by the message of the Lord, may a calculated plan of the enemy. Against your life, let it backfire. 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 Lift up your voice in prayer right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the message of the Lord speak for you now. Speak for you now. Speak for you now. Speak for you now. Let the message of the Lord look at you now. Look at you now. Look at you now. Look at you now. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody give the Lord a mighty clap of rain. Oh, somebody give the Lord a mighty clap of rain. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for the opportunity. Bible tells us in 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. That now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. And David fear David was stronger and stronger. And David the house of Saul was weaker and weaker. And so so fear today by your prayer you are coming out from any prolonged battle in your life. Ah, somebody shout amen. Please lift up your right hand with me. Say by the blood. Oh, shout by the blood. Every prolonged affliction in my life says, Scatter now. Say, Oh Lord, this morning by prayer, I decree and declare any prolonged failure in my life. Let it come to an end. Any prolonged disappointment in my life, let it come to an end. Say, Oh Lord, as I live. Top. My voice in prayer in a prolonged battle in my life. Let it scatter. Let it scatter. Let it scatter. Let it scatter. Lift up your voice in prayer now. Command that prolonged battle in your life. Let it come to an end in a prolonged poverty in your life. Let it come to an end in the name of Jesus. In a prolonged shame, you are going through. 
do in your life by your prayer today. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. In the prolonged barrenness in your life by your prayer today. Let it come to an end. Receive strength from on high. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice in prayer now. Hear somebody lift up your voice. And as you are praying now, the power of the Lord is coming over your life. The power of the Lord is coming over your life. Let in the battle you have been fighting for years. Let it come to an end. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the prolonged failure. In your life. Let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus. In the prolonged sickness. In your life. Let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Somebody left up the phone. Let's talk to God by your prayer today. Let in the prolonged battle in your life. Let it come to an end. 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 In the long term affliction in your life. As you are praying now, it is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. Lift up your voice. Talk to God. 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 By your prayer. And the upper hand of the enemy in your life. Let it come down. Let it come down. Let it come down. In the manipulation of the enemy in your life. Let it come to an end. 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 Somebody lift up your voice. And talk to God. Let that go long battle. Yes. That long standing affliction in your life today. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. To an end. Enough is enough. Let that shame be over. Let that disappointment be over. Let that poverty be over. Let that barrier be over. Let it be over. Let it be over. Let it be over. Lift up the pause. Talk to God. Let it be over. By your prayer today. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. He has lift up your pause. Let's talk to God. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Lift up your pause. He has Lift up your voice. Somebody by your prayer. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. God is fighting your battle for you. In the name of Jesus. He has lift up your voice. And talk to God. Let the prolonged battle come to an end now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to appreciate the presence of our Father, the Archbishop. Somebody clap your hands onto the Lord. Let's appreciate our Daddy. Hallelujah. Oh, shout, oh Lord. Oh, shout, oh Lord. Any altar invoking curses, pains, and shame into my life, say by this altar, say by the altar of our Father, let that altar cut fire. Let that altar cut fire. Let that altar cut fire. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, in this satanic altar, in Invoking pain, invoking disappointment, invoking sickness, invoking barrenness into my life. Say by the altar of our Father, let those satanic altars break and cut fire. Now, 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 lift up your voice in prayer by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let any satanic altar invoking pains. Speaking disappointment.
Speaking sickness into your life, into your marriage, into your ministry, into the life of your children, by the altar of our Father. Oh, let those altars break and cut fire. Let it break and cut fire. Let it break and cut fire. Let it break and cut fire. Lift up your palms. Talk to God. Yes. Talk to God. That altar that is speaking again. Your family, by the altar of our Father, let that altar cut fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, lift up your paws. He has lift up your paws. He swear your mouth. It is a tonic altar. Speaking of this, your next level, by the altar of our Father, let those altars let your freedom be released. Let your success be released. Let your favor be released. Yes, in the name of Jesus, lift up your balls. Talk to God. Lift up your paws. Talk to God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your paws. In prayer now. Yes. We silence them. Say the altar of our Father. Let those satanic altars be silent now. 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 This morning, by this altar, we command the altar to cut fire and to be silenced in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your voice. Lift your voice and pray. Break through time. It is battle time. Lift your voice, somebody. And pray. Lift your voice. And pray. And pray. And pray. And pray. All tests speaking against you all around. Let them be silenced. All tests speaking against your children, your marriage, your business, your ministry. Let them be silenced. Let them be silenced. All tests speaking in the morning. All tests speaking in the afternoon. All tests speaking in the midnight against you and your destiny. As you are praying, let them be silenced. Let them be silenced. Somebody lift your voice and pray. Your prayer is working this morning. Lift your voice and pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. We want to appreciate our Papa and our Mama for this opportunity. Mark chapter 6 verse 24 so she went out and said to her mother what shall I ask and she said ask for the head of John the Baptist we, we want the head of John the Baptist you want to pray into the month any evil demand on your life and your family let it be disappointed. You are not here. I say any evil demand on your life and your family. Let it be disappointed. Can you lift up one and say in the name of Jesus? I declare this morning into this month. Any evil demand, evil command, evil instruction against me and my family. 
praying. As I am praying, that fire, that fire, that fire, so any evil demand for my downfall, let it be disappointed. Come on, say any evil demand for my shame and disgrace, be disappointed, be disappointed, be disappointed. Any evil demand of sickness and disease for me and my children as I am praying, be disappointed, be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Lift up prayer now, lift up prayer now. Any evil demand on your marriage, on your marriage, on your business, evil demand on your children, evil demand on your existence as you are praying. Let them catch fire. Let them be disappointed. Let them catch fire. Let them be disappointed. Any personality demanding for your shame and your disgrace. Somebody lift up prayer. Let that demand be disappointed. Any personality in your community, in your family, demanding for your downfall. Demanding, praying, fasting for your downfall. Today, by the power of prayer, let that demand be disappointed. Let that demand be disappointed. Let that demand be disappointed. Any demand on your life to move you from grace to grass, let that demand be disappointed. Be disappointed. Be disappointed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any demand on your fruitfulness, let it be disappointed. Any demand on your business, that your business will collapse, that your business will run aground. We lift up here this morning. Let that demand, let that wishes, let that command, let that instruction be disappointed. Be disappointed. Be disappointed. Be disappointed. Be disappointed. Any personality who is not happy to see you alive, who is not happy to see your wife alive, who is not happy to see your children alive, we declare, let their wishes, let their demand be disappointed. Somebody lift up prayer, 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 lift up prayer. Lift up prayer in the name of Jesus. Any sacrifices that have been offered for your shame and disgrace, for your failure and disgrace, let that sacrifice catch fire, 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 catch fire in the name of Jesus. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Somebody lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. This month, this month, evil demand on your head, evil demand on your destiny. It shall collapse. It shall fail. It shall collapse. It shall fail. In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus. In the name of Jesus. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 9. Samuel who made you can do what change it. Bible says, and King Saul. Now Saul. Who was an enemy to David? He eyed David from that day forward. You are praying the same prayer into the month. Any wicked eye. And you are born in that have been cast upon you. Monitoring your going out and your coming in. Let it be blinded by fire. 
Please lift up one hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare it to the man. I declare right now. Any evil assigned against me, my children, my spouse, my business. So, Lord, as I pray, let that eye be blinded by your fire. So, any wicked eye that want to see my disgrace and my downfall as I am praying, oh Lord, let that eye be blinded now, now, now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Any wicked eye in your office, money to your going out and your coming, money to you working against your promotion. Let the eyes of the wicked be blinded. Let the eyes of the wicked be blinded. Let the eyes of the wicked be blinded. Let the eyes of the wicked be my family, amongst my friends, in my office. Let the eyes of the wicked be blinded. Be blinded. Any eye of the wicked looking into my future, monitoring my future, monitoring my prosperity, monitoring my ministry. Today, by this altar, be blinded. Be blinded. Be blinded. Be blinded. Be blinded. Be blinded. Let them be blinded. Let them be blinded. Let them be blinded. Let them be blinded. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost arise against every wicked eye. In the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. Can you clap your hands and give the Lord a shout? Oh, give the Lord a better clap of May every evil eye be blinded. When an evil eye looks for you, may they not find you. In the name of Jesus, give the Lord a mighty clap of praise. Give it to you. You can do it better than that. And will you please take your seat in the presence of the Lord? Last week, I started a journey with you. Uh, on prayer we started scratching the surface of yeah. the importance of prayer for us in Perez Chapel this month is our month of holiness and character building to be holy means to be separated unto God so I'm still going to speak on prayer but I'll also be speaking on holiness in Isaiah chapter 59 Verses 1 and 2. Isaiah 59. It says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. That it cannot save. Neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you and your God. And your sons have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. The scripture is saying that there are some things that hinder our prayers. Our iniquities and our sins. As we go along, not today, we would pursue some more the iniquities 
and the sins. However, today I want to deal with one particular kind of sin. If you have a Bible, go with me to Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14 and I'm reading the 23rd verse he that doubts is damned if he eat because he eats it not of faith for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So this morning I just want to talk about whatever is not of faith is sin. The child of God is a child of faith. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 tells us that for by grace are you saved through faith and that it's not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So the child of God is saved by faith. So every child of God starts out with faith because that is the vehicle by which you get saved. Because the only way you can receive anything from God is through faith. Prayer is what moves the hand of God. And faith takes from his hand. So if you are going to receive salvation, you need faith. And that faith was given to you as a gift on the day you received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And so for us as Christians, faith matters a lot. In fact, in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, the Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you don't have faith, you can't please God. And so the Bible says, anything that is done without faith it's a sin. So if you walk in the sin of faithlessness or doubt, the Lord cannot hear you. Your prayers cannot be answered. The devil will make you a prey for his teeth. Because every promise God has made in his word That promise is received by faith Every promise He says in his word Bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse That there may be food in my house And prove me now here with says the Lord uh, That promise Is only received by faith He says no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper any tongue that shall rise up against you, thou must condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith God. If witches and wizards will not make you a prey for their teeth, you have to receive this promise. By faith. It says in Mark that these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. 
if that promise that you drink poison will not work against you or somebody judges you will not work against you it works only by faith hello <laughs> hi so the bible is saying anything that is done without faith is a sin so if you are a child of God, the Bible says, for the just shall live by their faith. And the Bible says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, so for the child of God, faith is a very prominent thing in your life without it you can't receive from God without it your prayers will be hindered without it you can't enter your promised land so when Jesus rose from the dead and the disciples were afraid and they were gathered in a room. Jesus appeared to them and said, and what can he say? When he came, Thomas was not there. Thomas When Thomas came, they told him, Thomas Ah, Jesus appeared to us. Ah, yes, He said, Forget it. I saw him being crucified. I saw him shouting at the cross, it is finished. I saw him die. They pierced the side with a sword. So, uh, so for me, unless I see him with my eyes, and put my finger in his nail pierced hands and in the side where they pierced I, I will not believe the next time they met Jesus appeared and Thomas said my Lord and my God Jesus said you unbelieving believer blessed are those who have not seen but yet believe give God praise hallelujah amen Jesus was telling Thomas because you have seen me you believe now when you see what you prayed for you don't need faith because you have seen the manifestation but when you pray and you haven't seen the manifestation and you can still dance and still rejoice and still praise the Lord that we say you are a man or a woman of faith give him praise give him thanks and so faith it's a major ingredient in whatever we do the angel said with God all things are possible but all things are also possible to him who believes amen amen with God all things are possible I like that statement with God he didn't say by God all things are possible he says with God so somebody with God makes all things possible are you here with me so may you work with God to make the impossibilities possible in your life from today may everything that they said was not possible but because you are believing God for it may it become possible in your life may everything mountain in your life that they said you could not move because you are believing God may it be moved in the name of Jesus give him praise give him thanks give him praise so the scripture says whatever is done without faith is amen 
Amen. Whatever is done without faith. You are going to marry. Oh, kawari. This marriage there. The way I see it, it will not last. Over. That's what will happen. That's what will happen. The truth of the matter is there is no certainty your marriage will succeed. There's no certainty. The only certainty is that you have put that marriage in the hands of God. And you do your part. And God does his part. So marriage is a risk. Amen. Amen. Marriage is a risk. <laughs> Every step of faith is a risk. Every step of faith. Every step of faith is a risk. Amen. Amen. You don't know this guy. He, he only robbed you. He just told you, if I don't see you, I can't sleep here. And something is doing you. That's all. The only assurance that it's going to work is because you are believing God. You don't know the lady. You went to visit her. She gave you food to eat. No, ma, where do you need it? A food cry. You don't know whether she knows how to prepare it or she went to buy it. I do I need to But you just trust. That this woman, if we put our life in the hands of God, it will work. And you do that. Now, yes, sir. You choose a profession. And I will pay a You don't know whether this profession can take care of you. But as a child of God, you just trust God. So, as Christians, whatever we do. Must be your faith. Amen. Amen. You think in 1987 when I started Perez Chapel? And would you say 1987 Perez Chapel? I knew it would succeed. I only knew it by the word of God. It was a risk. It could fail. And you won't be sitting here. Are you here with me? <laughs> so, for the child of God, everything is a risk. The step of faith you take to start your business, you sense that this is the business you must do. What is the guarantee that it will succeed? Because the truth of the matter is most of the physical principles There is no guarantee they will work. Our finance minister. He, he went to Yale. He went to Yale University. Yale, Yale. University. In America. America. Yale is Ivy League top. We have gone to IMF. We call IMF. I, 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 you understand what I'm talking about? I told you, I I so it's not the principles. Amen. Amen. So physical principles. I mean, a few years ago, banks closed up. Clo banks were closed. Some of the people who own the banks, some of them, the the knowledge on economics and banking they had. So the principles they are good. But what doesn't fail? No, what does not fail is the word of God. So the scripture says <laughs> everything shall pass away. 
but the word of God will never fail. Amen. 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 Everything will pass away. Forever is where they settled in heaven. And faith is simply knowing that God will do what he has said he will do. That is faith. And that is what you and I need. Amen. Amen. Because if you have the principles and you don't apply faith, it will not work. Amen. Amen. I can see you succeeding. I can see you breaking through. Because of your faith. Because of your faith. You will move mountains. Because of your faith. The impossibilities will be possible. Because of your faith, your sickness will be healed. Because of your faith, your future is assured. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. So the scripture says, whatever is done without faith is a sin. So as a child of God, whatever, for whatsoever is not of faith, is sin. as a child of God, whatsoever, not some things, whatsoever, whatsoever, Bibiara, whatsoever. You are going to live a holy life. You do it by faith. You believe that God is able to help you overcome the power of sin. You do it by faith. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the word of God. By faith. Amen. Amen. By faith. And because of your faith, you will do the incredible. Because of your faith, you will surprise your generation. Because of your faith, whatever they said cannot be possible in your life. It will be possible. Because of your faith, even though you look old, but you will feel young. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. So the scripture says, whatsoever is not of faith. It's a sin. So for you and I, faith matters. Faith matters a lot. Amen. Amen. Faith matters a lot. In Hebrews chapter 11. The Bible tells us about faith. In fact, it's a whole chapter of faith. And the heroes of faith. And it tells us by faith this happened. By faith that happened. By faith that happened. Yeah. If God by faith could do it for anybody, by faith he can do it for you. Amen. Amen. If by faith he could do it for anybody, by faith he can do it for you. Look, if even you are at the point of death, and you would believe, it will be so for you you will come back to life. Give him praise. Fire ye man. Give him praise. So the psalmist said in Psalm 118 and verses 16 and 17 says the right hand of the Lord is exalted 
The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. And because of that, I shall not die. I would live and declare the works of God. Now, you can tell that at this point in the life of the psalmist, he was dying. Death was knocking at his door. Death was knocking at his door. No, it will happen. But even though death was knocking at his door, when we say no, we are born the He said to himself, "Or catch rain and Jose, because the right hand of the Lord is exalted." I shall not die. Me, me, who? Because Jesus died and was raised. As I say, yes, we now was pejano. I shall not die. Me, to me, who? I would live and not only will I live I will testify listen to me I have good news for you you will be a testimony you will be a testimony people will hear of the greatness of the Lord in the land of the living through you on Sunday a woman came to share her testimony with me. She said in 1992. I say 1992, She was sick. They had detected a tumor in her womb or the stomach or whatever. And she was supposed to be operated upon. Now no. We showed it even on Sunday night on my YouTube channel. She said, okay, sir. four times the doctors came in and out and they were not ready. So a woman lying by her in the hospital said, this your case is not human sickness. There is a man of God coming from Tamale to Gospel Light. Take your problem there. So the following day, she told the doctors to release her. And then they said she should sign that she is releasing herself. So she signed. And that day she came to the meeting she said she was sitting on the fifth row and I began to minister and I said there is somebody on the fifth row and I began to describe her issue suddenly the power of God hit her that, that was her first time in gospel life she hadn't talked to the ushers she hadn't told anybody her problem she was amazed how God was addressing her problem and she started rolling started manifesting and started throwing up by the time she finished when she touched her belly the tumor had disappeared. Ah. She, she said she had been operated eight different times on eight different occasions. Now I Since that time, she's still alive. Amen. Amen. <laughs> she said, so she, she said? She's staying. That made her stay in gospel light. And then I came to Accra. And her children, you know that time her children were very young. They said, as for us, we want to go to the man of God who came and you got healed. And so the children have been in this church from when they were babies. So now they are big men and women. Amen. 
But that was an impossible situation. And God made it possible. May that be your story. Anything that was impossible in your life. Because you believe. Because you accept the promises of God. May that work in your life. In Jesus name. Give him praise. Give him thanks. You, you can do it better than that. Uh, the next time I'll be preaching on Tuesday, I'll, sh- I'll show you a video. Last week, one of our church members was in a vehicle. And they were going to the mountains. And then, in the course of their discussion, my, my issue came up. And you know that the lady is a church member. So when the, the man sitting in there raised my subject, the lady became very curious. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do you have to say about the archbishop? Then the man said, hey, Almost 30 years ago, my father had been paralyzed for 30 years. And one evening he was watching television. And the archbishop said, There is somebody watching me in, my, in your house. You are paralyzed. If you believe, you can walk now. And the man said, he held a stick and tried to get up and threw a stick down. And before he realized, he was walking. When, and I remember, I remember that testimony very well. Because when the man got healed, he came we are in the old auditorium. We are just moved in here. He came to testify. So I called the TV people. And I said, look for that testimony almost 30 years ago. After about 30 minutes, they sent me the video. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The man was in his house. And he was watching us by television. And his crippled legs were healed. And got up and began to walk. God can do it for you. Whatever was impossible in your life. I came today to promise you by the word of God. That by your faith. It is possible. Give me a believing in Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody it is possible. Amen. Amen. So the TV people take note. TV for Tell Brother Stephen that I need that video the next time I'm teaching. That man's testimony is awesome. I don't know why you came today. But scripture says whatever is not of faith is a sin. Whatever is not of faith is a sin. That means that from today, whatever reason why you came, you are going to believe that it is possible. You see, you, you, you can come and not believe. Thomas was in the room but he didn't believe but you don't want to be an unbelieving believer you want to be a believing believer amen Amen. so every impossible thing 
in your life that you are believing God for today may it become possible the Bible says in Mark 11 verse 24 it says whatsoever Mark 11 24 it says whatsoever things you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them whatsoever things you desire some say oh uh, God is not interested in your desires or your wants he's just interested in your needs no no He's able to do far more exceeding abundantly above what you can ask or think. So God is able to do even your desires. Amen. Amen. So don't just limit God to your needs. Limit him to your desires. <laughs> if you can desire it. Amen. And pray about it. Then it is possible. Amen. Amen. So he says, whatsoever things you desire. When you pray. When you haven't seen it. Believe you receive. And you shall have it. Amen. Amen. And so today we are going to stand. And we are going to address the things that we desire. The things, we, the things we desire. Will you please stand? Whatsoever things you desire. Whatsoever things you desire. Whatsoever things you desire. What are the things you desire? Open your mouth. And talk to him about. Talk to him about. Talk to him about. You want him to heal you. Talk to him about. You want him to heal your daughter or your son. Talk to him about. You want him to heal your spouse. Talk to him about it. You want him to touch your business. Talk to him about it. You want him to touch your ministry. Talk to him about it. Whatsoever things you desire. Whatsoever things you desire. Talk to him about it. Talk to him. Talk to him about it. Yes, whatsoever things you desire. Yes, whatsoever things you desire. Yes, Lord. The open door. Yes, the open door. Yes, Lord. Yes, Let the buildings on the land come up. Yes, We call for the buildings on the land. We call for the convention center. We call for the prayer retreat center. We call for the primary school. We call for the secondary school. We call for the hospital. We call it forth. We call it forth. We call for the supermarket that is serving the premises. Oh, we thank you, Lord. 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 We thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the huge car park. We bless you for it. Yes. We magnify you for yeah, it. We celebrate you for it. We bless you for it. Oh, bless the name yeah, of the Lord. Sure, 
Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the many pastors. We thank you for the many pastors. We thank you for the many cell leaders. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the area leaders. We thank you for the hundreds of cells. Thank you for the hundreds of cells. Thousands of cells. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. We bless you for it. We magnify you for it. We thank you for the many businessmen and women. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the professionals. We bless you for them. We thank you for the allies. The many, many professionals. We thank you for many young men and women. We bless you, Lord. We thank you for the many healings and miracles taking place amongst your people. We thank you for the many miracles and breakthroughs that you are doing for your people. We thank you, Lord. We, thank you. we bless you, Lord. We thank you for the great, great things you are doing. Oh, thank you for the many churches springing up. Thank you for the many churches springing up. Many vibrant churches. Many successful churches. Many successful churches. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. Bless 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 you for it. Glory to Jesus. We magnify you. Yes, Yes, Omnia, oh, your mommy, be your answer. No, yeah, what's your chance? And if I so redeem my end, and no, see, and so roll Yes, Omnia, yes, Omnia. Oh, your mommy, be your answer, no, yeah. Oh, your mommy, oh, my mommy, magic one, magic one, be she, I know, be she, I know. Lord, 
Sing it again, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe that all things are possible. Lord, I believe. Oh, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe that all things are possible. Lord, I believe. Eradie, me ti wudi. Eradie, me ti wudi. Sabie ni na tu mi ya ho. Eradie, me ti wudi. Eradie, me ti wudi. Eradie, me ti wudi. Sabie ni na tu mi ya ho. He has promised he will never fail. I will have on him. I will have on him. Ah, he has promised and he will never fail. His faithfulness. Oh. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness, oh, is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. Oh, you're no quarry for here to. Just thank him. Thank him. Thank him for answered prayer. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. Bless him. 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 Bless
Bless the name of the Lord. Thank him for answered prayer. Thank him for answered prayer. Thank him for answered prayer. In the name of Jesus. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Yes, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Yes, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Yes, 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 magnify his Yes, exalt his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Yes, love him, love him. Love him. Love him. There is somebody you've been having run into. God is touching you right now. There is somebody you've been having pain in your novel. You've been having pain there. God is touching you right now. And there is somebody the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. Any food that enters your stomach, you have pain. God is healing you right now. God is healing you right now. There is somebody who has persistent joinedness. And God is healing you. God is healing you right now. Oh, we thank you, Lord. And there is somebody being healed in your eyes right now. In the name of Jesus. God is touching you right now. Oh, yes, 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 God is touching you right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That pain in the eye is going. Oh, yes, 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 God is clearing that cloth on your eye right now. In the name of Jesus. God is touching you right now. There is somebody the Holy Spirit is saying to me. The past three months, every day you feel like throwing up. You just have this nausea. I will put so flow. The spirit of nausea is breaking off your life in the uh, name yeah, of uh, Jesus. No, 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 no. By the power of the Holy Ghost. We give you praise. 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 There's somebody with a severe headache, acute pain. Right now, God is healing you from that migraine. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, there is somebody being healed in your left hip. Oh, you are being healed right now. Somebody will be having this palpitation of your heart. And there are times you feel this pain in the heart. God is healing you right now. From that heart palpitation and the pain in your heart. That pain in your chest is leaving you. Lift up your hand and just love the Lord. Just, just love him. Just love just bless him. Just bless the name of the Lord. Whatever sickness or disease you came here with today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command it to be bound in the name of Jesus. And I command it to break from your life right now. Satan, you know me, you will obey me. I don't come in my name. I come in the name of Jesus. 
And I command every sickness to leave these bodies right now. And I ask that you be made every way to by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. I pray for your child. Right now. I can see a mother crying. Says my child. My child. Your child has been giving you a headache. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever that has possessed your child. Is breaking its hold over your child right now. In the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for any struggling marriage here. In the name of Jesus, I ask that struggling marriages be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every attack on your marriage be bound in the name of Jesus. And if you are believing God to get married, I ask that God will intervene for you. Give you a miracle. Satisfy your mouth with good things. I pray for your job. I pray that God will visit your job. God will intervene in your job and your ministry. He will do what only he can do for you. In the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hand and just thank the Lord. Lift up your hand and just thank the Lord. Thank him, just thank him. 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 In Romans chapter 4 verse 19. My Bible says, And Abraham be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead when he was about 100 years old. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But was strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Abraham was always giving glory to God. In the face of the impossibility. Thank him for your answered prayer. Thank him for your answer. Thank him for your answered prayer. 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 In Jesus' name. Will you please take your seat? We want to take our offering. You're watching me from overseas. You want to give. You want to give. You want to give through send wave or world remit and the name is Perez Chapel International and the number is plus two three three two zero three one six two zero three one six two zero eight four two zero eight four plus two three three plus two three three two zero three one six two zero three one six 2084. 2084. If you are in Ghana, you want to give through through uh, star 800 star 1000 hash. Star 800 star 1000 hash on all mobile networks. Star 800 star 1000 hash well, mobile network be also. Or you want to give to our MTN Momo. And now, person, the fire MTM Momo. 0243. 0243. 500. 500. 624. 624. 0243. 500-0. 500-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 600-0. 
you want to give 200 Ghana cities and oh, above, come oh, and drop it on the altar. Oh, person, my city, I had no any dear brosso, Fabeto, a ya for the Bucheso, 200 Ghana cities and above, drop it on the altar. City, I had no need dear brosso, Fabeto, a for the Bucheso, 200 Ghana cities and above. City, I had no need dear brosso, drop it on the altar, Fabeto, a for the Bucheso. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, hundred Ghana cities, city or ha. We give you glory. As we honor you, you wonder, yea, Lord. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. Fifty you Ghana cities, city at the unum. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. You are wonderful. Twenty Ghana cities, ten Ghana cities, five Ghana cities, two Ghana cities. You are worthy, oh Lord. We pray over the seeds of your people. We ask that you multiply the seeds sown by your people. In Jesus' name. Will you bow down your head with me? If you are here today and you want your sins forgiven, lift up one hand. I want to pray with you. If you want your sins forgiven, Lift up one hand, I'm going to pray with you. You want your sins forgiven. Church, will you please stand with me? If today is your first day worshiping with us, you want to take your Bible, your bag, your purse, and walk to me in front here, I want to welcome you. you. If today is your first day worshiping with us, come forward. I want to welcome you. If today is your first day worshiping with us, walk to the front. I want to welcome you. You are welcome. You are welcome. If today is your first day worshiping with us, come to the front. I want to welcome you. You are welcome. You are welcome. You see this dear lady on your, uh -huh. on your uh -huh. left. Will you please follow her? Please follow her. We have some training people. Church, put your hands together. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Tonight, Anaji. It's our communion service. It's going to be awesome. It's a special communion service. Amen. Amen. Starts at 6 o'clock. I spoke from power in prayer. And move that mountain, the principles of faith. I'm sure the ushers have them. If you need a copy, you can take advantage of it. Lift up your two hands. May God, our God, the answer of our prayers, may he give you the manifestation of your requests. 
May this week be a week of answered prayer for you. May it be a week of great miracles and breakthroughs. In every area of your life. May favor and opportunities be your portion. Go in the power of the Lord. God richly bless you. See you.